friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. For this video, I'm doing my fall haul part two. And I already put up part one earlier this season. I think I put it up in October. So I actually accumulated more books. And now I have a part two. And we're just gonna go with it. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna dive right in because I have quite a few and yeah. So the first book I have for you is a, an arc of frankly in love by David Yoon. So I don't know if any of you follow me on Twitter <laughs> and you may have seen me tweet like a couple of months ago or maybe like earlier this fall about how my job, so I work at Barnes Noble and as a bookstore they get arcs and I didn't realize that there was just a table full of arcs in sitting in our back room. I thought it was just a table of books until somebody pointed out to me. And this was just sitting there. Nobody wanted it. And so I just took it because I was like, I'll I'll do it. Like, sure, why not? So I have this. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> I, I feel kind of dumb for not like even sniffing it out because as a book, like lover, book nerd, booktuber, I should just be able to figure this stuff out, but I didn't, so that's fun. I was literally working there for a month before I even found out that whole table existed. And now I just like stock it, just in case, so. But yeah, so I got this. Um, I also have a book of the month version as well. So, exciting. Um, I have not read this yet. I'm intrigued because I, I like, saw the hype for it. And I can't remember, I don't know if I've heard good things or if people have enjoyed it or not. And maybe I need to go look at reviews and stuff, but. I'm interested enough to check it out and stuff like that. Plus, it was free arc, so why not? All right, so the next one I got was, so, uh, this is kind of an older arc, but I was super excited to get this book. I still haven't read it, but I was super excited to get it, and so I thought it was kind of cool that this arc was just sitting on the table, too. Plus, I figured since it had been there for so long, nobody was going to get take it, so I just decided to take it anyways. Um, I got an arc of This Time Will Be Different by Misa Sugira. Um, this came out in, I think... Yeah, this came out in June, and I didn't start working there until August, and it was just sitting there, so I just decided to take it. So I have a physical copy and an art copy now, so I, I love it. I also, like, this one doesn't have the pretty cover on it, but that's okay. But it's kind of cool that I was able to find this. So eventually, if I can get her to sign my books, I would love to get her to sign the arc and the physical copy. The next two books I got were The Lightning Thief and The Sea of Monsters graphic novel. So next year, one of my goals is to read through the entire Percy Jackson series and I had already read the first and the second books a couple of years ago maybe like right when I started high school I think and I just didn't continue on from there just because I think partially just because I didn't have them and partially because I just wasn't in a hurry to finish them um and so I realized that uh, it might be a little hard for me to reread those two for some reason. I don't know why, just sometimes with certain books, I can't reread them like that. Um, some I can reread all the time, others I can't. So I figured it would might be easier if I just bought the graphic novels of both of them and read through these and then started from there. Just so I'm not like basically sinking myself into a slump by intentionally like reading something I know I'm gonna st probably struggle with so I just bought these as an option just in case like I definitely will try to read the normal like book form of the books but just in case I was like I would rather have these as a second option if the first one does not work out. Next book I got is an arc of American Royals by Catherine McGee. This was also something I got from work that was just sitting on the table that nobody wanted. So I grabbed it because I was like, I'm probably not going to buy the book anytime soon because I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. So I'd rather just read the arc and then if I like the book, then I'll buy it. The next one I got is actually a really older arc. Um, I don't even know, like this came out in 2018 and this book arc was still sitting on the table. So I just grabbed it again because I was like, well, it's there and I'll read it. And then if I buy the book, I'll buy the physical copy of it too, if I like the book. And it is Love, Hate, and Other Filters by Samira Ahmed. I've heard like pretty good things about this. Uh, so I'm intrigued to check it out. And yeah. It might be on a future TBR, who knows? All right, the next book I got was, this one you already knew about, but uh, I got my book of the month for uh, October, and my choice, of course, was The Beautiful by Renee Adie because I can't resist and I'm trash, so just adding this to the pile of 
me being trash. Alright, so the next book I got was Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson. Um, I got this from a store just because uh, this is part of my fall TBR and I wanted to have a physical copy of it. So I figured I would grab it. And I did. And it's here. <laughs> the next book I got was A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. So I've heard, like I want to watch the TV show because one of my favorite actresses is in it. And, um, but I want to read the book first before I try and watch the TV show just to see if I like it. Alright, the next book I have is An Arc of Dear Sweet Pea by Julie Murphy. This was another arc I got from work. Um, I haven't read a Julie Murphy book yet, and I've also been trying to get into middle grade a little bit more, so I figured this would be a fun thing to grab, and I've heard good things about it, so I'm really interested to get to it whenever I can. Alright, the next book I grabbed partially because I saw Carrie the Book Bell review this, and I'm a sucker for, like, holiday romances. Like, I love the Christmas Hallmark movies and the Christmas Lifetime movies. Maybe my mom will just sit down and watch them, and we're not ashamed. But this one sounded super good, and the plot kind of intrigued me, so I got, I bought it. Um, I got Ten Blind Dates by Ashley at Elston. Um, I wanted a Christmas me book, and I thought this would be a good, uh, fun, like, holiday read eventually, so I grabbed it. Alright, to the next couple of books I got uh, from Viz, or from Write Stuff Anime, they were having a shoujo manga sale, and so I just kind of grabbed these. You might have seen these in my um, reading vlog, my October reading vlog, but I just threw these in so that, just in case you didn't watch it, you can see what I got. Um, I got the first volume of Waiting for Spring. I have heard good things about this, and I love, like, the cover. Um, and the, just the coloring and stuff, so I figured I would try this out. I've also, I also feel like I've read this before, but I'm not positive. So I just decided to buy it because it was cheap, and yeah. The next book I got was The Water Dragon's Bride. Um, I honestly got this based off of the cover, because I love the pastel colors it uses, and, um, I don't know, I was just kind of intrigued. I've always been intrigued by the stories of, like, there's a god who takes on, like, a bride or a husband or something and then like I've just been intrigued by that so I thought this sounded kind of cute. Alright the next uh, one I got was Gakko and Alice volume 1. I have read this series already but I would definitely love to own it because it is one of my favorite manga series um, that I've read besides Fruit the Basket and um, Skip Beat and the volumes are very hard to find like I don't see them in stores so I figured when I saw this like for three dollars I was like I'm buying it. The next book I grabbed was Beauty Pop. Um, this was another cute manga that I loved and saw that the first volume was pretty cheap so I decided to get it and hopefully I can get the rest of the series as well. The next one I got was Skip Beat. I got the uh, 13th volume, the 3 and 1. I'm trying to work my way backwards in buying them um, just because the series is still going and so I want to be able to, like I'm caught up pretty much. I'm just like waiting because I just like, I want to get them all but also like want to still like read them as they come out too so it's like a juggle but I got this because again it was cheap and I'm trying to get the whole series and it helps that the three in ones are like pretty cheap and plus it's like three in one so I'm not buying like all 40 volumes right now so yes this is definitely one of my favorite series ever. Alright the next couple of books I got from a second hand shop. One of them I have no idea how I managed to get my hands on it but I did. So the first one I got was um, the second volume in My Hair Academia. I read the first one and I liked it and I loved the anime. Um, so I saw this at the store and I was like, I mean, when am I going to find it this cheap? It was $3.99, so I figured I would just grab it. And now I have it. <laughs> the next one I got was Yatsubatsu Volume 3. I don't have the first two volumes, but I've read this series before up to a certain point, so I figured it was fine. I could buy the thir third one and then just get the second, the first and second one later. Um, but this is a cute little uh, series that I really enjoy. Um, she's like a little girl and she's just kind of like discovering the world and she's like really weird but it's cute because like she just kind of embraces her weirdness and she just like thinks everybody else is weird and she's not the weird one so I definitely love this one so much. 
Next, I got P.S. I Like You by Casey West. Um, I'm trying to work through Casey West's books next year, so um, I decided to try start trying to collect them, especially in paperback. And um, this one I read already, but I think I want to do a reread of it just to make sure, like, just to kind of remember how I feel and re remind myself of the story and stuff like that. Um, I want to kind of get a couple of her other books as well, so that way I can just kind of read through them. All right, <laughs> this book, this next book, I literally don't know how I managed to get my hands on it, but I'm hella happy. So I managed to find the New Moon Special Edition. I don't know how I, I found this. Uh, <laughs> I and I only got it for eight dollars, and that's not all. Like, there's like that's just not all. Like, okay, so it has this like special like little box thing it comes in, and then it has this, and then it's signed, guys. It's signed. I never thought I would get my hands on a signed Stephanie Meyer book, but oh my goodness, I'm so happy. And then it's cool too, so like the chapter heads are like red, um, while like everything else is kind of normal and the pages are deckled as well. And it's just so pretty and I don't know how I found this. Also, I needed a hardcover of New Moon, so just like fate pro provided for me. I don't even know how I found this guys and I'm never giving this up. I told, so my best friend, she loves Twilight too, and I told her, I was like, when I die, she could have this because like at that point it should go to her since she's the next person that also loves Twilight like me. But I just, I don't understand who would get rid of this. Like why? And why would you sell it for $8? I mean, I'm thankful, but at the same time, I feel like this is worth so much more. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. I'm trash. So I'm just happy. Like I like walked away feeling like a champ, guys. <laughs> like, I don't know how I like, yeah, just all the things. I'm happy and this is beautiful. So yeah. <laughs> so the last thing I got was a cute little Christmas package from Penguin Teen. So let's open it. It's like a little snow day package. Um, first I got a little, um, packet of hot chocolates. Um, there are these little white things and string to for the celebration. Um, there are some candy canes. They're kind of broken though. <laughs> I guess the mail person wasn't very dental. Um, and I got a little, one of these little mini book versions of Let It Snow by Lauren Miracle, Maureen Johnson, and John Green. And then I got the Netflix cover movie version edition of Let It Snow as well. Um, this comes out November 8th I believe the book the movie does on Netflix um, and the book is already out in stores too if you want to go and grab this version if you go to Barnes & Noble they actually should have a Netflix table and it should be on that table it, I set it up so I know <laughs> if you if you come into my Barnes & Noble please like it, also please don't stalk me but if you come into my Barnes & Noble I will take it to the table I'm not gonna tell you where my Barnes & Noble is but if you come in there and you see me I'll be there most likely and I can show you where it is but otherwise if you go into your local Barnes & Noble and ask them if they have a Netflix table they sh hopefully should uh, it should be on there <laughs> thanks to Ping and Dean for a free copy of this let us know um, but yeah you guys should totally check it out I'm excited to read this just because I have heard like kind of good things about it pretty like mixed reviews but I've also like I've been trying to get more into like Christmassy themed stuff so I figured this would be a fun holiday read and the movie looks really cute so I figured I should try and give this a read before I watch the movie of course that's how you gotta do it so yeah but I'm excited thanks to them but don't forget that the movie comes out on November 8th and so you guys should definitely definitely check it out so that is my fall haul part two um these are all the books that i managed to grab or buy or acquire uh during this season hopefully this is the last one for the season um and then my next haul will probably just be a christmas like gift haul i probably won't buy any books in december if like at least i'm gonna try not to um 
But yeah, so if you all like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or whatever about any of these books or my life or whatever, please comment them down below. If you're not good at commenting, please leave me an emoji down below. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you want to keep seeing more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of lights. And I hope that you are all having wonderful reading days.